Uh, it's the worst start in 29 years for Manchester United. These results here, I mean, it's uh, to have lost three games by a Manchester United standard uh, is, is too many, isn't it, uh, Robert? And, and the pressure undoubtedly mounting on Jose. Absolutely. If you look at the games, as you know, you, you could probably point at the Pogba Mourinho situation, but you know, there's so many games that you know they should have won really. If you if you, if you look back at them, um, it's unusual for men, you know, to to start the season right at all. Um, so that points to that's a bit more wrong rather than just uh, Pogba and Mourinho. I mean, you're sitting and you're watching these games. You play at the coalface. You've been there on these pitches. Can you put your finger on what what it is that's not quite clicking for United at the moment? What I think the players got to you know, look at themselves, really, you know, you've, you, it's easy to point at the manager's mistakes, you know, when you don't play well, I think you just got to own your performance, you know, if, you know, it's all well and good when it's, when it's going well, but mm. when it's bad, you, you need to have the honest chat with yourself and go, you know, is it the best I can play, is it the best I'm prepared for the game and, and so on, and it clearly, well, in my opinion, it doesn't look like they do. Me and Ben know Jose socially, I know him really well, I don't know the manager, is he... Not the nicest fella in training. Uh, tell us, you've worked with him. No, he's brutal. Like if uh, my, my, it was ten years ago, probably more when I worked with him. Um, but he certainly wouldn't let you get away with any sort of lax attitude or a bad session. He was on you, and he would encourage you. He'd be really positive, but the second you don't do it, he, he, he'd be there to go. Brutal or honest? Well, brutal and honest at the same time, you know. Mm. And certainly at Chelsea, everyone took responsibility for their own performances. You know, him at the helm with all the preparation he used to do with tactics and so on. But ultimately on a Saturday, you know, it's your job. You know, don't look at me on the sideline. Yeah. We've done all the work in the week. You then kind of look at me and go. So yeah. if, he, if, he, if he is brutal and honest, as you say, do yeah. you have to be a certain player to be able to cope with that brutal honesty? And is some of the, 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 sort of the younger players perhaps not quite as robust enough to deal with it? Oh, it's not a nice place to be when he uh, when he goes for you, absolutely not. And it's something I suppose you learn the further you go on in your in your sporting life. Um, but yeah, I've got picked up plenty of times, and I just went, oh god, went home, and then next day was another day, and he'd forgotten about it. You know, it's a very sort of here and now. Mm. It needs to be better. There's no no issue in terms of I don't like you, we don't get on, but I need you to do a job, and if you don't do it, then. Mm -hmm. You're not the player for me. Do you think we're seeing the same Jose now that we saw when you were being managed by him back at Chelsea in sort of you know, 2004, 2005, wasn't it? Is, it? is it the same person? It's difficult to say from the outside. Um, naturally, I would expect he sort of changed his style a little bit and, you know, we're talking 10, 12 year, years on now. Um, but, yeah, he seems to have lost a bit of the, the swagger, you know, the I don't care sort of attitude that mm. he used to have and the connection with the players. You know, if you look back... Years ago, even the Inter, the Madrid times, the Chelsea times, you used to have the instant connection with it. It was sparkling. The, the players would do everything for him. And at the moment, it's just, it's not quite there. So, uh, do you think that that would be the key to turning this around with Chelsea? That Jose somehow, from your perspective, you feel like that, that connection's lacking. And if the connection's lacking, the players aren't going to be willing to commit as much on the pitch? Well, I think what you had at Chelsea and at, at the other previous clubs was the players bought 100% into what he was going to do. Yeah, there was no, oh, I don't like what we're doing. Even if some players didn't like what the plan was, they bought into it and did the job 100%. Um, at the moment at Menu, I, I just think there's too many voices going, oh, we should be doing this, we should be doing that, I should be playing in this position. And that's when you get performances like, like yesterday where it just looked a bit you know, disjointed, really. Mm.